I was born and uh, raised in Oklahoma and uh, went to graduate school at Purdue University. I uh, became a beamline scientist at uh, Brookhaven National Lab, the National Synchrotron Light Source. After about 10 years there, I moved to Chicago to lead a group at uh, Illinois Institute of Technology using the newly developed there, at least then, the advanced photon source. I knew where Saskatoon was, and it's like, unlike probably most Americans, but nonetheless, came here and, and was really stunned by what was here, meaning that uh, it was a synchrotron on university campus. I think that changes the whole character of the facility. Uh, it was a synchrotron that was sited very close to the College of Medicine, where you teach doctors, and so the medical community was very close. And the Western College of Veterinary Medicine was close. The cancer clinic was close. Kinesiology, all of these things that could be here in support and help you know, drive some of the scientific program, but nonetheless would have an infrastructure around this facility that could be used for biomedical research. I decided to come here because if it can't happen here, it won't happen anywhere. Conventional imaging is based in absorption. And in the case of phase-related imaging, we use a different mechanism of contrast than just absorption. With phase-based imaging, you see subtle variations in tissue density. Lungs have amazing contrast because it's very textured. We see cancer not because it's absorbing, because it's denser. We see the density aspect. We're certainly very strong in bone research, osteoarthritis, bone growth, bone development. We've done work in cancer. Uh, we've done work looking at vasculature, pulmonary imaging, looking at lungs, uh, looking at lung injury. There's no question that we can lead in, uh, in many areas and uh, I think that makes us very unique.